Stuart Malcolm MacDonald. Can I uh, thank the State Secretary for advance sight of our statement, wish her well with our new ministerial responsibilities, and associate these benches with our words on the aid workers in South Sudan. Mr Speaker, the Syrian conflict is making the Schleswig-Holstein question look positively simple by comparison, but there are a number of questions I hope she will be able to help me with this evening. Can she tell us a bit more about the new sanctions she has announced? Will they target the Syrian scientific studies and research centre and the network of shady bank accounts connected to it? Will she seek to address the large imbalance between the number of sanctions from the UK and the EU compared to those that have been brought in by the US Treasury? There are almost 300 uh, sanctions coming from the US Treasury. I understand there are fewer than 30 that come from the United Kingdom. Can she tell us how she plans to strengthen the Chemical Weapons Convention and the OPCW? Isopropyl alcohol and hexamin are required to make sarin gas. Neither of these two components are covered by the Chemical Weapons Convention. Can she tell us if there are plans to address that? Can she also tell us a bit more about the US aid initiative that she mentions in her statement and how much new money will go to it? And turning, Mr Speaker, to the UN Security Council, tasked with underpinning global security, it worries all of us that it is now effectively an entirely broken instrument. And whilst I hold no candle, like her, <coughs> for the Russian use of the veto, if the veto is dead for Moscow, it is dead for every permanent member of the Security Council. So given that the UK Government has essentially acted, whether we like it or not, <coughs> out with the norms that she says the Government has acted to defend with the airstrikes, what is the long-term plan to bring back some decorum, some decency and some order to the UN Security Council? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm most grateful to the Honourable Gentleman. It's always in the interests of our proceedings that they should be entirely intelligible to those who are attending either elsewhere or watching on television. If memory serves me correctly, because the Honourable Gentleman referred to the Schleswig-Holstein question, only three people knew the answer to that question. One died, a second went mad, and the third forgot what the answer to the question was. St. Chief State. Um, thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. I, I, I hope I'll do rather better on my re reply to uh, my uh, uh, right hon. Friend. Um, the... I think that whether it is um, uh, financial levers or whether it is having other options in our humanitarian toolbox, we need in future to be able to do more. As a defence minister, I was fed up of coming to this House to say why we couldn't do airdrops. As um, Secretary of State for International Development, I am fed up of coming and saying why we can't protect people better. We are a smart nation. We've got great brains in our armed forces and our civil contingencies. Uh, we work very closely with our US allies. We have got to come up with some better capabilities, and I'm determined uh, that we will do that. But um, financial uh, levers, too, are what we want to focus on. We are working with the EU and other international partners to develop those. Um, uh, I can't give uh, details on that today, um, but that is in train, and I will update the House um, at a later date. Um, the US Aid Initiative is a joint partnership with us. In, initially, we are each putting in uh, five million. Uh, and that is to invite a competition, so we're asking people to come in with ideas, um, but then we will look at those ideas and develop them, and they could be about protecting civilians, they could be about getting power back up or water supplies back up or getting uh, aid uh, to those individual people. In addition to that, we will also set up in the UK a humanitarian innovation hub, which my right honourable friend uh, will be leading on, and that will take the best brains uh, from across many sectors to come up with uh, solutions that we uh, can use and also may help uh, our defence capabilities and our civil contingent uh, capabilities. And with regard to the UN, um, there are huge efforts being made by our dedicated team in New York. I have spent time with them, I have visited uh, them, and they are doing sterling efforts. Um, we need to keep pressure on uh, Russia uh, and Iran. That is the only way we are going to get things back uh, to, to how we, we want them to work. But in the meantime, we have to find other ways of making sure that we adhere to those international norms. We will all be safer if that is the case.